know our next guest from his starring role as Shadow Moon on the hit show American Gods. Please welcome Ricky Whittle. <laughs> hey, Ricky. How are you doing, ladies? How are you on this What's fine that? day? Welcome Come to the accident. show. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I dressed up. You look beautiful. Goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> They kept you telling me, look good, remember, remember to look down the lens. Remember to look down the lens. And I'm like, with these beautiful ladies on screen, I've got to look at No, it's not going to happen. Stop it, <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> right back at you. Okay, Ricky, I can't help but notice that, you know, you're in shape a little bit. <laughs> have you? <laughs> how have you avoided yes. the quarantine 15? How is that possible? Uh, I mean, obviously that's that's on set when I'm working and uh, my character Shadow Moon is, is very much uh, an athletic guy and so that involved uh, a lot of training and, and dieting and basically dehydration on the day. Um, but in general, you know, it's, I, I guess I've always been very sporty, you know. In, in, in the UK we, we play lots of uh, football that you guys call soccer uh, rugby and, and all sorts of different things. And, um, you know, I, I just find it important. You know, it, 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 growing up, I was, I was bullied a lot as a child. I tended to be the only kind of kid of color in school. And so when I started joining these sports teams, you instantly kind of get these 11 brothers and 15 brothers who will now have your back. And so, you know, if I've ever given advice to children in schools and things, it's always, you know, join, join, join a team, join an activity, you know, you, it's find people who have similar passions to you. And so sport became very important to me. And I guess I just grew into a physical shape because of the amount of sports I was actually playing. But it actually came from a place of, of acceptance, really, and then kind of grew into something that I loved. Wow, yeah. that's great. Yeah, that's so such an amazing memory to rekindle. And you recently had to take someone to task on social media for talking about your hair. You said discrimination against a biracial man due to his inherited features in 2021 is done. Do you Preach. find yourself getting frustrated with the way people interact on social media? And are you surprised uh, you even had to say something like that? I mean, it's it's a shame that we have to we have to constantly go through this. Like you say, it is 2021, and, and we're in a time where, you know, we we've realized the beauty of everyone. Everyone is 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 their own person. So myself, kind of bring this person. It's more about through an education. I feel fear and and these trolls and bullies and cyber bullies. Fear comes through a lack of education and understanding. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really trying to take someone to task, more to just educate someone that I'm biracial. So my mother is my queen. She is my everything. She is a beautiful, blonde, blue-eyed, Caucasian woman. My dad is my king. Beautiful, black, brown-eyed, strong man. And so I'm not black, but I'm not white. I'm both. Because if, I just, if I'm to say I'm white or if I'm to say I'm black, I'm discarding one of my parents whom I love so much. Yeah. And they, they give me everything. And I will never, ever belittle my beautiful queen or my powerful my king because they gave me everything I have today you know they they raised me to just to look past people's appearances sexual orientations you know their ethnicities races religions they told me you're a good person or you're a bad person and that's what's yeah. important and and you know I feel that we live in a time where everyone sits behind these faceless avatars and profiles yes. projecting yep. their insecurities their fear, their yeah. inadequacies, and their anger and hurt. You know, hurt people hurt people. It's, it's a saying that goes around, but a lot of it very much is true. I mean, I've never been criticized by anyone who's doing better than me. There are always people, you know, the people that are doing better than me are, are focused on their own careers, their dreams, you know, <laughs> trying to raise people together with themselves. And that's something that I want to do. You know, I, I'm very fortunate yeah. to be in a position I am. I feel very lucky. So why not bring everyone I can with me? And it doesn't matter where you're from, what you look like, you know, what your beliefs are. Are you a good person? If you're a good person, come with me. Let's go and play. Let's get on that journey. Let's, let's, mm. let's, yes. let's do what we're doing. If you're a bad person. Love, 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 love. Let's get into yeah. your show, which we oh, love. Yeah. I did American a show, by the way. Gods. Yeah, you have a show. <laughs> 
Oh, American guys, this show, this season, has a lot of relevant themes for today's world, like immigration and old age versus new age. But what issue do you resonate with the most? I mean, I, I, being, being British, uh, an Englishman, obviously the, the immigration section um, really hit home. I mean, at the end of the day, it's an entertainment show. It's a lot of fun. You know, there's romance and comedy and, and action and stuff. But we do have a fantastic platform to kind of raise a lot of awareness and to shine a light on the beauty of everyone's differences. I mean, uh, just behind me, excuse the shameless promote, self-promotion behind me, but this is the cast. It's such a, a diverse cast behind me um, from all sorts of different backgrounds. And what I've been able to do is to really learn about all these different cultures, that the indigenous community, the native community through Debra Jacobs and, and Yatili Badaki, Ashley Reyes, you know, there's, there's so much kind of stuff to learn. And so as an Englishman who saw America from outside um, for all my years growing up and then living in America for 10 years, you kind of get both sides of that coin, which is fascinating because I feel last year, America, it was the first time America truly looked into the mirror and saw mm. itself, its true self and was horrified. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in the show, um, there's a line that Mr. Wednesday says that is America is the only country in the world that doesn't know what it is. And I feel mm. that oh, wow. last year, we've, it, it finally got that glimpse yeah. of, of what it was. And it yeah. was terrifying and shocking to a lot of people. But for the rest of the world, it wasn't. You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I constantly hear this isn't America and that's not American. But the rest of the world are kind of putting their hands up going, yes, it is. You know, America lives in this bubble and it's and it's, you know, I recommend anyone to travel around the world and to take in all these cultures because the beautiful thing about America is it's full of so many different people from different backgrounds. And the sooner we start learning from each other, the sooner we can all move forward. You've got to own that that history Absolutely. because, you know, we, we, we're hearing that loads of uh, black heroes have been whitewashed. Loads of female heroes have been have had their genders changed to men that were saving these wars. And you're like, wait a second, did you know it was a whole group of black ladies that won that thing? And did you know that this woman did this and that right. this black guy did that? Because they just changed history. And so yeah, once incredible. we start to learn our history and we get into schools and we educate, then we can move forward as a people all together. And you know, on the show, it really shines a light on the beauty of everyone. And, and I get really excited, as you can tell, we're excited about, too. Yeah. No, we're excited too. And speaking of the show, we have a clip that we want to get to because we're dying to see it. So let's take a look at you in American Gods. Thank you so Woo! much for chatting with us today. What a great conversation. Please come back, Ricky, when we have more time, I, okay? It would be my honor, ladies. I, I hope you have a, a wonderful day today. You stay safe, you and your loved ones. And, uh, you too. I, I'd love Thank to see you, you again Ricky. soon. Well, be Thank sure you. to catch his show, American Gods, Sunday nights on Stars and the Stars app.